The iPhone is now 10 years old. It's been in the market for 10 years. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through the original iPhone, one device running iOS 1.0.2, one device running iOS 3.1.3, the original OS and its last OS. We're gonna see what works in 2017 and what doesn't work. How usable is this 10 year old iPhone today? Let's get started. Here we are, the original iPhone running iOS 1 and the iPhone running iOS 3.1.3. You'll remember the original globe here and the original slide to unlock. So let's dive into how these phones operate today. So first I should point out, these phones are stock with no additional apps installed on this iOS 3 version. And this of course could not install apps on the original iPod, iPhone I should say. You'll notice when the iPhone originally launched, SMS was the icon. It didn't support MMS, it was just SMS. The internet enabled features, that's where things get really interesting because things don't work. Really basic things. So for example, the iTunes store on iOS 3, it was not available on the original iPhone, you will not see it here. Uh, the iTunes store does not work on iOS 3.1.3. It cannot load that up, it just fails. It'll crash out in a second here. Uh, what does work is the App Store, but what doesn't work are any of the apps, as you cannot load any of the apps because none of the apps support an OS this old. So to get apps on here, you would have had to already have had them when this was a more current OS. So you'll see the App Store does load up on this iOS 3 device. It takes a while to load, but it loads. It's going over Wi-Fi, and these both devices support edge networks, with, which are also being phased out now. So you'll see here, the banners don't really load that well. You'll see Pokemon Go is grayed out, Race Kings is grayed out. You'll have the scrolling list of apps they're featuring. And if I try to click on an app, so say Pokemon Go, it'll load up the old app store of that app. Antic, and this is how the old app store displayed so um, it's, it's the pages load but the apps themselves even really old apps like say Trism Trism was one of the most popular apps one of the most popular games of the time and even that app store app page will not load for this old app, this old OS. So Trism, so I try to load up Trism. First off, it does not remember that I bought this even though I'm logged into the same account. It's not connected in that way uh, it would appear at this time. They've turned that off. So here's Trism and it'll say you need iOS 6 to actually load the, this version of Trism, which is interesting because the App Store recently, a couple years ago at least, sent out an update that let developers push out older versions. So here, let me install this, let me buy this, and it will warn me, update required. This app requires iOS 6.1 is the oldest version this, this requires. If I go to top 25, a lot of the error messages are just this app doesn't work with your phone. So let's download Minecraft. Let's see what the, the pocket version of Minecraft spits out. Now I should note, YouTube on the original iPhone will not work at all. It just, it says cannot connect to YouTube. It can see the videos here, but it says cannot connect to YouTube. If I try to load up a video on YouTube, it will also say air playing movie. So the API has been deprecated and it's just not available. Uh, the YouTube app, you'll see stuff. Before, it wouldn't even work, so they have updated to a fact where you can see what's supposed to be there, but you can't do it. Now, with Minecraft back on iOS 3, this one requires iOS 8. So, there's, and even Apple's own apps, the app, the podcast app will not work. So, App Store, pretty much unusable. There's no way to filter out to just iOS 3 apps. If there are any left, I, it does not appear to have a way to get there. Now, YouTube on iOS 3, it behaves a little bit differently. So in iOS 3, 
it will have this video show up here and that's a video basically saying your platform has been deprecated move on and go to the website so that's the message there and it's a four minute video of that message in different languages i should say uh you'll notice so the original player the video player it looks like uh, you were able to email right out of the video player so you were able to bookmark and email out of that video player so that was there on that version of the os now the maps features do work still so google maps is still active um this would like to know that. that's maps still functional on current on the old hardware uh, you'll notice the iOS 1 calculator was a little bit different. So this is iOS 1 calculator. This is iOS 3. So they switched from the circle to the squares and blue originally and more of a gray there. The home buttons are not that happy right now. As far as the clock interface, the clock is still fully functional and that has not really changed that much over the years so um, as far as the iPod so let's load up the iPod so iPod very different interface back then and it was called iPod back then so I can load up songs and they will play uh, so iPod fully works but once again uh, if you try to load up songs from Apple Music onto this device that does not work uh, you need to have an, a device that supports iTunes in the cloud, iTunes Music. And interestingly, I synced a podcast episode of Canvas to this iOS 3 device, and the artwork did not carry over with the way that podcast okay. was encoded. And, it's, and this is, that was how you got podcasts onto your device. You sunk it through iTunes. Uh, there were also some podcast apps, I believe, but nothing as advanced as there are today, of course. Uh, now, weather, I believe, is still fully operational. It is. So, basic weather UI there. Uh, the Stocks app is still fully operational on both iOS 1 and iOS 3, thanks to Yahoo. Uh, photos. So, the photos, here we are with photos. And here's an example photo on iOS 1 and really bad camera back then you had the ability to with the share sheet the old share sheet before it got to a real share sheet you could use as a wallpaper email the photo and assign to contact uh, they changed the order from iOS 1 to iOS 3 that's the only real change there and uh, yeah photos still fully operational of course no iCloud photo sync uh, they added after the fact so iOS 1 did not have voice memos but I was three did by that point. What else? Uh, the settings. Let's just dive through settings. You have the usage on the original iPhone just displayed right there. Uh, sound, brightness, and wallpaper. The sound options. Um, and you'll remember the original uh, sound there. The general area had about uh, day and time and these basic settings. Bluetooth was buried down here because you couldn't really use it for much. Uh, you could use it with some headsets, but no Bluetooth audio for listening to music. And the uh, one of the interesting features they added was this home button ability with iOS 3, or maybe not iOS 2 when they added this. But double click the home button for going home, search, phone favorites, camera, or iPod. And you could check what was, what was in the search results. But yeah, back then, you could double-click the home button to bring you right to the iPod or your phone, which was a really cool thing. This was before multitasking was a thing. And uh, you had international options, of course. But yeah, that's the settings of that. And with the mail, uh, Exchange was added at some point. They switched from mobile from .Mac to mobile me by the time I was 3 hit. And... Yeah, these were the, the mail options back then. And uh, as far as the phone uh, settings, some basic stuff there. iPod, basic settings. So yeah, some very basic settings back then. 
Safari, also some basic settings, you can choose who it is, and that's about it. Now, getting into Safari itself, very interesting what the web looks like today, or on it, on old iPhones. So, on here I'm loading up Macworld. Here I'm loading up what used to be the iPhone web applications bookmark. And this was where people got their web applications. But now it's just the, the Apple page, which is kind of laughable looking at here. It's amazing how well it does display. This on the, on the left here, I was one uh, displaying Macworld.com. And you'll notice a lot of icons question marked. There was some tech, a lot of web technologies that advanced a long way, and that is something that just doesn't work. Uh, images, so and you'll see the checkered bar there. Uh, you'll remember the original iPhone had search right below it there, and so if we go to uh, New York Times for, if we go to the BBC, we'll see how that looks on here. But a lot of st stuff just doesn't work. Like, uh, for example, something very heavy like, uh, let's try The Verge, for example, and just see how that looks on iOS 3. A lot of things just don't work anymore. And including the, the keyboard here is, uh, the touch targets are a bit off. It has not aged that well. Yeah, so I can't even get to the verge because the touch targets on that keyboard are not working. But here's BBC, a lot of broken things. And as you scroll fast, you'll remember that check checker mark, uh, checkboard, because it couldn't keep up with what you're doing. But it kept the scrolling going, which was good. So uh, yeah, this is Safari on the original iPhones. And uh, you'll know yeah, the web is not really that usable on on this device anymore. Uh, so I believe that's about it. There's no swiping up from the bottom of the screen. Uh, search was displayed over to the left. On the original iPhone though, there was no moving the home screen. This was, this was it. So yeah, this is the iPhone 10 years later. It's an interesting piece of history to have and to look at and see what works and what doesn't work. Um, and here you'll notice, I just noticed you can scroll over because Apple did put contacts on a second page to encourage you to install apps. It would appear that that would be the main reason it looks like to encourage you to see what's over here. So with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this look back on the original iPhones. This one running iOS 1.0.2. So 1.0.2 on that one, and then the other one is iOS 3.1.3. So I hope this has been a fun look back at the original iPhones. Thanks for listening or watching. Stay tuned for more videos from this channel. Bye-bye.